The brand new Spotlight Terror event for Great Tusks and Iron Treads is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go over all the details in today's video as well as the best Pokemon to solo these with in your game. So running alongside the 7 star Terror Raid event for Chestnut this weekend, running from the 16th of June until the 19th, we're going to see the Spotlight Terror Raid event for Great Tusks and Iron Treads in Scarlet and Violet. It'll be the first time these Paradox Pokemon will be featured in a Spotlight Terror Raid event, but as you can see, we've got all the details over here on Cerebi. So with these Terror Raids, we've got two signature Terror Typings. The Great Tusk will only be appearing in Pokemon Scarlet. The signature Terror Typing that it's going to have is going to be steel type and it will have the moves close combat earthquake rock slide ice spinner with additional moves sunny day and stomping tantrum it's not going to have any marks attached to it and the shiny rates are standard so you can get this in a shiny but the odds are pretty slim but good luck to you getting it in a shiny if you do let me know down in the comment section below it won't have a held item and it is a five star raid and the item drops unfortunately there are no herba mystic guy who's kind of holding out hope for a little bit of light with this raid but unfortunately nothing with it but some good item drops nonetheless you're going to get large candies xl candies a bunch of steel terror shards and other high cost items including big pills nuggets and pp ups with bottle caps and a chance to get an ability capsule now moving on to pokemon violet you're going to have the exclusive pokemon iron treads and it will have that signature terra typing of ground this will be the signature kind of terra typing for this raid the moves that the iron treads will have are going to be iron head earthquake mega horn wild charge with additional moves of electric terrain and then bulldoze it will again have no held item and it will have a chance to be shiny as well as this it will be a five star raid with the same item drops that the great tusks does have now alongside these signature terror typings that you're going to find in each of your respective games you're going to get these pokemon with random terror typings as well so it's a good chance for you to get these pokemon with different terror typings without having to spend Terra shards for them these are going to be exactly the same as the other great tusks and iron treads that we've covered same item drops same move sets and everything else so they're going to appear in their respective games like i say iron treads in pokemon violet and then great tusks in pokemon scarlet so this event will be running over this weekend giving you a great chance to get these paradox pokemon with different terra typings and some additional high cost items as well now to access this event in your game you're going to need to come on to your menu screen come to your poker portal come down to mystery gifts and then into get poker portal news once you've connected to the internet this will update all of your terror raid event dens in the area and you'll be able to access this terror raid event by just opening your map and identifying these spotlight terror raid events with this white glowing ore that is around them now we did feature a best builds video for this spotlight terror raid event and some of the pokemon that we featured in it were miss magus in particular for the great tusks if you are playing on pokemon Sky. Scarlet. The build for this is pretty straightforward. It's a ghost terror typing. It has a shell bell item level 100, has an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 special attack with the ability levitate. It means that you're going to be immune to those big ground type attacks and the fighting type attacks that can come out from the great tusks. And it's going to be forced into using only the rock slide and the ice spinner as effective moves that it can hit you with. The basic premise of this is pretty straightforward. You're going to try and get three fake tears off at the start of the battle try and get a couple of nasty plots up as well and then just fire off shadow balls it's going to be pretty straightforward to go after the great tusks in particular in this raid the iron treads might be a bit more difficult because it does have additional moves that it will be able to hit you with the iron head and the wild charge that will be boosted from that electric terrain that it does set up at the start of the battle but Miss Magus should still be able to do a good job. But if you want an all-rounder going into these raids, I would definitely suggest going with Annihilate. Now, the Annihilate build has the fighting terror type. It can also have the ghost terror typing as well. The item that we've chosen is the Shell Bell, and the moveset is going to be Drain Punch, Bulk Up, Screech, and Rage Fist with an EV spread of 252 Attack, 252 Defense with an Adamant Nature and that Define ability. Now, for the Iron Treads, the Define 
fine ability is pretty nice to have here because if it does fire off a bulldoze like it will do in the battle it will proc the defiant ability giving you a plus two in your attack stat making the raid a lot easier to kind of close out you're gonna have no trouble with the annihilate just use the screech three times and then fire off your drain punches or your rage fists depending on which terror type you are you can use the bulk ups as well at the beginning of the raid because it's not really going to nullify the stats on your side of the field until very late on in the battle so you're going to be able to do big damage very quickly with it and it's a great option going up against both the great tusks and the iron treads online and then the last one to go on is going to be slow bro which is going to be again another really good all-rounder for these raids uh, with the psychic terror typing leftovers as the item this time and then the move set of slack off iron defense nasty plot and stored power doesn't matter about the ability on this one for this raid with a modest nature and an ev spread of 252 hp 252 special attack the rest dumped in defense all these builds will be down in the description as well by the way you want to just start this raid off by going for three iron defense and then three nasty plot and then just firing off stored powers until you beat the raid uh, you can terrestrialize that'll boost your power but like i say with your stats not getting removed until late on in the raid itself then you are pretty good to just fire fire off as much damage as you can until your stats do get reset and then that might be a little bit of a sticking point but you can always just nasty plot up again you're not going to be in any kind of danger of getting knocked out with the slow bro but overall i would say the annihilate is probably the best one to go into this raid with and a bunch of you probably already have this built from previous seven star raids and it can kind of double up and go into the chestnut raid as well and do a decent job into that one if you just want one pokemon to do all the events this weekend but if you want something more a little fun and then Miss Maggie's is a nice option and this build in particular is very quick at dealing with the Great Tusks especially after you get those fake tears off. Of course it's worth noting if you want to get the opposite version exclusive that isn't in your game then you can hook up online you can go to your poker portal and then go to terror raid battles in the poker portal section and then find a raid hosted by an opposing player that will be hosting the opposite version to what you've got as you can see here we are a scarlet player so we're looking for violet players hosting the iron treads and it was pretty easy to find one and i'm sure there'll be a lot of people hosting these over the weekend you can of course return the favor from your game host your own raids and have people join them and hopefully like we had here it was a pretty easy process it was a very easy online raid for the first one that we've gone into and the iron treads was dealt with pretty quickly using annihilate so like i say annihilate going to be one of the best pokemon to use for all of the raids this weekend now if you are farming through these events and you run out of all of the event terror raids in your map then what you can do to reset them is just come into your map here hit your home menu come down to your system settings down into system down into date and time just make sure that your synchronized clock is off via the internet click into your date and time and then just click through the options here you don't need to change any of the dates or the time click ok come back into your home menu and onto your map and you'll see all the dens will respawn on your area and then you can just head back to the next one and kind of start the process again so that wraps up all of the details for today's video i hope you found it useful have fun with the spotlight terror raid event and that seven star chest note event as well that is running at the same time thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day let me know down in the comment section below what you think the next seven star terror raid will be that'll be announced on this this Sunday evening. I'm looking forward to the announcement. Hope you are too. Do drop a like if you found today's video useful and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care of yourselves. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.